Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Nicolas Mahmoud. Uh, Hello. He uh, is head Toka One One Shoes and uh, is also a veteran of the UTMB. Um, this will be his fourth or fifth attempt at the race. Um, yep. Twice he's finished a third and eighth. Yes. Um, and would love to uh, hear a little bit how that um, in these races you've been successful in at UTMB. How did uh, how did the third place go? How did you? How did the race play out? Um, what year was it first? 2006 was funny because that's it was my first trail race ever. I had done some adventure racing before a lot, like all over the world in teams, with uh, like in Asia, in the US, and and I was the, the race which started in 2003 was going just right by my house in the I mean, so I was like, I have to give it a shot one year. I mean, it's, it's looks like it's fun. It's not very long. It's only like 24 hours. A big adventure race like the Eco Challenge or the Red Bull was is like six to nine days. So that must be pretty easy. <laughs> so I just, um, I just went. That was the first time I was doing a run, like a, an ultra ever. And uh, I was leading in Le Contamine. It was very special for me to be first there. And then stayed in fourth place for a long time. I was crushed at the end, so I got passed by about uh, five, six people, ended up like 10, 20 miles before the finish, and then kind of found some energy to get back in the top 10, and I finished 8, so it was the second year, the second year I came with, I was like fired up, and I, I remember the start was amazing, I, I started, and, and then after two miles, I'm just ahead of everybody with like Scott Jurek and Carl Metzler that I knew of but I had never met before and the three of us was were talking and they realized they're like who's this guy I mean we don't know him and, and all of the other guys were behind so we just slowed down a little bit to get together with Vincent and Marco and I took off I took off and I spent 16 hours leading the race I didn't see anyone for 16 hours and then in Champé like before Champé, 40 kilometers to the finish, Carl, who I had seen in Chamonix, came by and passed me, like, smoked me on the flat. And, and I was like, wow, this guy is he's a guy who's won like 2,500 miles. Oh my God, it's amazing. He's going to kill it. And um, I think it was a bit short after Hard Rock for Carl. And, and in the next climb, he kind of blew up and, and stopped the race uh, about 15 miles to the finish. So I was ahead for a bit more. And then Marco Olmo uh, passed me. I finished, uh, I started to cramp pretty bad and my legs didn't eat enough. I think I got overexcited um, from being ahead mm -hmm. and so on. And Marco passed me. I, I pretty much finished the race with a German guy, very nice, uh, Jens Lucas. And when it became flat in Germany, I, I couldn't follow him. So I started walking. I was very happy and I felt great to, um, to finish third. And, spending 16 hours ahead in this race, going through the night and meeting the volunteers and all of the crew uh, at each station, that was very special. It's great. Uh, how do you feel going into this year's race? I have a different job, so I was, at that time I was a consultant and I was pretty much working when the weather was bad. <laughs> now I have to run a, a pretty crazy footwear company, so as the training time is um, it's far less. Uh, on the other hand, I'm, I'm not injured this year. I've been pretty injured for the past two years, so I'm, I'm just I'm very relaxed, very relaxed. It works out, and I, I do well. I mean, I'm very, I'd be very happy to, to spend time with my friends from France and the U.S. and Italy. And uh, if it goes well, uh, I'm still hoping to to be in the top ten. Mm -hmm. And if it's uh, if it doesn't go too well, if it's a bad day, I'll. Uh, Probably, um, I, I don't think I would make it to the finish and I'll wait for the next big race. Mm -hmm. um, what advice, this is your fifth time, what advice would you give in either preparation or racing for UTMB? Well, what's special, what, the most special thing about UTMB is uh, starting in the evening. So that's, that's something very crazy because you, you start at 6.30 and then a couple hours later it's already dark and you have to go through the night and then the weather, uh, when, the, when the day is coming, uh, probably five racers have been through half of the race and 99% and of the people still have another night in front of them, another maybe 60 miles to go and you get pretty sleepy at that time so mm -hmm. uh, one thing which is very important is to 
handle that night smoothly and, and, and understand that you're in for an adventure which is going to last um, 22, 30, 40, 46 hours and just um, take the time to eat and, and, and rest a lot. You know, I mean, uh, two, three years ago, the, f the first time I, I, I really did it and finished it, I, I took a small nap. I mean, I wouldn't do that anymore because it goes so fast now, but I took a nap for 10 minutes. Speaking of naps, are you going to... The race starts at 6.30, which is unique. Um, are you, do you plan to sleep late tomorrow, or well, are you going to take a nap, or how, how, do, how do you approach that well, aspect? I, I just came back from the U.S., and there's eight hours time difference, so my big fantasy was to just um, go to bed very late, like 2, 3, maybe 4 a.m. in the morning, not partying and drinking, obviously, yes. but and hope, hope to wake up uh, when it's like 8 a.m. in Utah or in Colorado, which is like 4 p.m. here. And then you go through the night, you're not even sleeping. Mm -hmm. You're super excited. But with the work and so on, it didn't really work that way. So I, I got back on the French schedule pretty quick. So I'm probably going to go to bed at midnight tonight and hopefully sleep until uh, 9 or 10. And I will, um, I will try to take another nap probably from 2 to 4. Well, sleep as much as possible. Well, best of luck this weekend. And Thanks, Brian. Enjoy. Enjoy seeing you on the course. Yes. Fun.